cloud. Hopefully that works. All right. Thank you, friends, for being patient. Um, I'm going to do a little less talking so you can do a lot more working today. Let me get to where I need to be. All right. So we have talked about what a region is. We have talked about where they are, that they have capitals. We have talked about that um, they have um, different landforms depending on where you are in a region. You have different um, climate depending on where you where the region is. And so today we're going to talk about in a region because of the climate, because of the landforms, because of the way that the, the earth is, certain regions have access to certain things, to materials. All right, so today we're going to be describing what natural resources are, natural resource of your region. These are things that are just come with the earth, all right? And our success criteria is today, we're gonna to know what a natural resource is. We're going to be able to research your own, where you're in your region, what their natural resources are. And you're gonna add that information to the note catcher. So today, a natural resource is something that's found in nature and can be used by people, okay? So it's something that came with the land already, all right? And in that it could be possibly a variety of things, all right, that could be part of our natural resources. Now, people who now live here in whatever area or region you have now use the resources to make things or to make money in some way by selling those resources, okay? So either they use those resources themselves or they somehow use those resources in a way to sell them to another region that wants that natural resource, and that's called industry. And the reason you need to know the word industry is industry is when you're trying to do something with that natural resource. The natural resource is just the stuff that's already there, okay? So if you do something with it, then it becomes an industry. And it's important you know the difference between those two words, because in a minute you're going to look up and it's gonna say industry. And they're gonna be like, it doesn't say natural resources, Mrs. Harrison. It's because it, it, it is a natural resource that they're using to sell, to make some sort of um, money or to help improve their area. So now we have to find out what the key industries are for a particular region. So the way you're going to do this is I'm going to do it with Colorado, just kind of like how we've been doing all week. We've been using Colorado as an example. And yes, it's in our mountain west area so you guys if you're in that region you better listen real careful right because you could get some pointers here so today you are going to have access to this oh uh to this um particular I, i'll show you how to get to there it's the ducksters again but it's a different page than you had before all right so it's going to list these states okay so you are that's why we had you start with what on your note catcher the states, right? So that you would be able to know which ones to look up. So I'm going to do Colorado because Colorado is our example. So I pull up Colorado and it has a lot of information about Colorado. It shows you again where it is. So maybe, just maybe, you want to make sure that you have it labeled correctly on your map if that's your um, state that, in your region. It also has other things. It has the population. It has major cities, which should be, at least one of them should have been your what? Your capital, right? Do you see Denver there? Yeah. Denver's our capital. Um, sometimes the biggest city in a state is not its capital necessarily. So it might be listed, but it might not be that first one. It also tells you what the states are that are next to it. And then here's where the important part is. What I said natural resources was the important word and industry. So here it says key industries right here. And so remember I said, these are things that come naturally with the land that people figure out how to use to make money. All right. So agriculture, agriculture is a fancy word for farms, um, an area that uh, uses the land. 
So agriculture, including dairy products. What makes dairy products? Cows, right? Because cows have milk. We get the milk from the cows. Then we use that milk to make all kinds of different dairy products. So I, Colorado has lots of land, right? Lots of plant. Now our land is, is, is mountainy, but on the plains and on the west part of our state, we have lots of nice fields. And those are great places to raise cows because cows eat mostly grass. And if you have a nice field and the grass, so do you, so that's natural resource right there. We have land that it grows grass that we can have cows, we can grow cows on or have, raise cows on, right? Then the cows then can either become a meat product, right? Or they be, can become a dairy product. So they list it as cattle here. They say dairy products, cattle. Cattle means cows. So we're using them for beef purposes. Sheep, now sheep have two purposes as well. We can use that land to raise the sheep for meat. We can also raise the sheep for their wool, right? So now we have two reasons to have sheep. Hogs, hogs, fancy not another different word for synonym for pig. Pigs we usually mostly use for meat and bake. Yeah, my question the other day was bacon and that was a big popular one. So bacon and other food products, right? Pork and other things. Now again, Natural resources, we have the land for this. Does every state have great land to raise all these animals on? No, so do we appreciate that as Coloradoans? Yes, because we can use that to make money. We can grow lots of crops. We can grow wheat, we can grow corn, we can grow apples, we can grow hay, because hay also can be used for all those animals that don't have room to eat off the, the grass up of our land. Okay, but not only that, we also have other industries, things we do here to make money. All right, so we do, we make scientific instruments. Some of your parents might work at a place where they do science, uh, um, Lockheed Martin or, um, okay, all of a sudden they just went out of my head. Um, so there are, we have a lot of scientific places in Colorado and in those places they develop sometimes Space things and also scientific instruments. So we take those that our brains and all of them, that business also uses some of the resources we have of minerals and they can make scientific instruments that they sell. Computers, food processing. We have all that food. We can also get food from other places and process it into canned food and sell it to other people. Leather products. Where do you think the leather comes from? What other things did we already have? I, I felt focused. I, Focus on some other reasons, but where else does leather come from, Larry? Cows. The cows, right? Those cows that were growing on the that we were raising on the land, right? They were food. They could be dairy, and they also could be leather. Okay, metal products. We also here in the great state of Colorado have a lot of different things that are underground that we can use. All right, we have some great things we can use that are metals that we. So remember the remember how um, you might. And briefly, you remember that Colorado used to be a place where they used to mine gold and silver and some of those other places. So we have a lot of metals that are underground that people also want to get so that they can make money and sell them. So those are just some of, those are our key industries. Do we have other industries? Yes. So like Colorado sells peaches. It's not listed on there, but it's because it's not one of our main ones, but it is certainly one of those that we can have. One of the other main industries that's not written on here, but it could be used, is we get lots of snow. We have lots of snowy mountains. We have lots of ski resorts. When people come to Colorado from other places to ski, do they bring their money and spend it here? Yes. So another key industry could we could put for Colorado would be skiing. That people from other places come here just to do what? Just to ski, right? And, and and then they have to eat. They have to stay someplace. Sometimes they buy things while they're here. They're leaving their money here. So we, what snow is actually one of our key industries. And we don't even have to do anything. It just comes from the sky, right? So that's when we know that we're a little worried when we don't get enough snow. Okay. So those are key industries. And those are what you are going to write today on your, when you have your never on your lovely note catcher number four says what natural resources and industries are in your region so you are going to look up i'm going to go back 
you're going to go today with your, you're going to have to divide and conquer, okay, with your, um, your team, okay? So you are going to go to today's assignment, if I can find it. Do, do, do. Yep, totally not doing a good job of this. Regions, Friday, there it is. Right here, you can find today's, and here exactly will take you exactly to the page I just showed you. And you and your group are going to divide up. Hey, you do Colorado, you do Wyoming, you do pick your states, go to the page, click on it, and then you, what you'll notice is, do you think your region has some similar from state to state natural resources? Yeah. Probably, right? Because they're nearby. Is, is Colorado going to say it have the same industries as Florida? No. No. Could it have some of them? Yeah. Yes. But is it going to have the exact? But is, is, is Wyoming, which is near us, is, are they likely to have the same natural resources? Yeah. Yes. Or some of them at least, right? So you are going to fill in as many as you can, all right, of your industries. So even though I just clicked on Colorado, my, my other teammate would click on a different state. You're going to write down as many things as you can and share it with your team, okay? So I'm teammate with Elena. I'm going to tell Elena some of the things I found out. Elena's going to tell me some of the things she found out, and we're going to write them on our paper. All right, yes, Ellie. If you do add, oh, sorry, that was a good third thing over there. Um, if you actually do have Colorado, then you better write down some of the things I just found, huh? Yeah, for sure. Marin. Yes, you better get together and divide and conquer, as we say. You're going to decide how to work as a team. So before we do that, hold on. Does anybody have any questions about what their job is? Larry. Can you work? Well, you have to coordinate a little bit with your team, maybe, so that you can, not a, you're not trying to do all the states, because that's a lot of work. So maybe with your team, decide which one you want to work on, and then if you want to work on that alone. But it'd be great if you could share that information with your group, because it's it's a lot of, lot of and you're going to give a presentation at the end of this with your group. And it's helpful if your group has already has the ability to work together well. Okay. All right. Cooper, question. Say that again. You have a connection. Ah, I like that word use of connection. So you're, see, I knew somebody in this because a lot of our people do. So he works at Lockheed and, and does he do things with, um, what, what kind of work does he do? He builds, see, so is that a scientific equipment? Sure is, very good. So Cooper was just saying that his dad works at Lockheed Martin and does exactly what we just said that Colorado's good at. Serene, question? So if you go to Google Classroom and you click on right here, if you click on this one, it will take you directly to that page that I just showed you. And then you click on whatever state that you what your group wants you to work on. And then when you open it here, I'll just open Texas. Then when you open Texas, you'll see it says key industries. Do you see how it says that right here? And then you're going to write those kind of things. And theirs are a little bit different than ours in Colorado, aren't they? Some of them are the same. Some of them are going to be different. OK, Elena, quick, quick. Okay, if you are in the Southwest, please raise your hand so your group can, so Elena can see her group. Elena, who she worked with yesterday? Did she work with them yesterday? Should have. Yeah, but okay, so all of your groups should raise their hands. Southwest, look at them, see them, Miss Elena? All right, so you gather together. All right, my friends at home, my remote friends, you have a lot of states in that, um, that Northeast region. So Mrs. Aubin is going to help you guys um, sort of divide and conquer on that so that you're all working and all helping each other out. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get with they, they don't need their maps. They don't need their maps. They just, well, unless they want to see which, well, I mean, if they listed them, they shouldn't need them. But if they didn't list them, they might need them. I did not catch them out. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you, they shouldn't have to. They should just need their note catcher because they're going to just do that part. All right. My friends at home, any questions? Isabella. What if two oh, sorry, people you're on want mute. to? Hold on, not not you. On mine. Okay, go again, Isabella. What if two people want the same state? You guys can work together. However, your group wants to do it. Okay, so two of you. Uh, Mrs. Aubin's going to coordinate that if you two of you need to work on the same one, that's okay. 
All right. And Mr. Charlie, Charlie B, are you, um, Mrs. Aubin is also going to do a real quick um, progress monitoring, okay? So that she has time. And then I'll do a spelling test during OG. All right. Then I'll do a spelling test. All right. Okay, guys, you're going to work with her. I'm going to turn off my mic. Can you mute Mrs. Harrison so we don't hear you? She is muted. Oh, I just hear them because my door's open. They're loud. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so you have quite a few region states in your region, right? So let's think. Who wants to work on... So I'm gonna, we've got Maine. I gotta look at a map here. I'm gonna. Can I be New York? Okay, I'm gonna start writing it down. Yeah, you're gonna do New York and then you're gonna have to share. What you I think. also want to do New York. All right. New York is Astria and Haley. So you guys can work together or you can just share what you find. Isabella, which state are you interested in doing? Maine. Maine. Anybody else have a preference? How about you, Ben? How about Pennsylvania. You, ben? Pennsylvania. Um, I will choose Oh, uh, what's still Virginia? Okay, I gotta see all your states now. Hold on. Let me see. I gotta go to Duxters. Regions, where are you? This happened yesterday where it didn't show up. All right, that's okay. I'll go to Thursday. If you can't find the Friday one, you can go to Thursday, you'll get on Dexter's. You just got to go to the geography to the states. Regions, the United States. All right. So you guys have quite a few. You have Maine. We got to get someone to do Massachusetts because we have Isabella doing Maine. Someone's got to do Rhode Island. So Ben, you could do Pennsylvania. Did you say Pennsylvania? You can't do Virginia because it's not in there. Pennsylvania, I did not. Somebody okay. else did. Who wanted to Pennsylvania? Charlie did? Okay. So Charlie wants Pennsylvania. Isabella's going to do Maine for us. Astria and Haley are going to look at New York. So we still have New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, we've got quite a few. What about Connecticut too? So you're gonna have to take more than just that one because we have quite a few. Do you want me to sign them or do you have, Gavin, do you wanna do Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Connecticut, or New Hampshire? We also have Vermont. Can you unmute Gavin and tell me what you might be interested in? Can I do Virginia? Okay, you got to tell me your name. I don't know who that was. That was Ben. 
All right, my dear Ben, you're gonna do Virginia. You why do you want to do Virginia is not in here? Is, is it? That's not in our region. We've got Vermont. Are you thinking Vermont maybe? Uh, yeah. You want to do Vermont? Sure. Yeah. All right, Ben's got Vermont. Leah, what are you gonna do? New Hampshire. Thank you, Leo. Uh, um, let's see, Haley, can you do one more besides New York? We've got Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, or Connecticut. I guess I could do Mar Mar Maryland. Okay, so Haley, you can look at New York and Maryland. Yeah, New York. Okay, thank you. And yeah. Lisa, can you do one more besides New Hampshire? I'm going to ask everyone probably because I don't think we'll have to. Yep, Logan, I've got you for Rhode Island. Um, Delaware. Thank you. Okay, so Leah's also going to do Delaware. I need Connecticut, New Jersey and Massachusetts. So, Isabella, who said that? Say your name. Logan. Logan's gonna do Massachusetts, thank you. Um, and then Connecticut's left and New Jersey. Any? I can do New Jersey too. You will? Okay, thanks, Charlie. All right, so then Gavin, since I haven't heard from you, I need you to do Connecticut. Okay, buddy, give me a thumbs up or talk to me so I know. Okay, you can look at the other states as well. Thank you guys for working so nicely. So we got to make sure we share our information. So you know you're writing it, Ben. Ben, that's going in my eye. Ouch. Thank you. Make sure you're writing it down on your note catcher. If it's, I see yours, Gavin, you can write it. These are all going to go on the back of our map eventually, but you can write it on paper and then we'll glue it down. If you've already done that, you can just continue writing on the back sheet. Okay, so remember we're looking for natural resources and using that Dexter's website. Is everyone doing okay? Gavin, do you know what you're doing, bud? Do you know how to get to it? Okay, are you writing? Are you looking? Are you researching? All right, cool. Where is mine? I don't okay, I'm gonna let you share your screen with me. Hold on, let me enable it for you. Share your screen and I'll help you get to it, okay, buddy? Okay, so if you go to the far right, closer to the duck, keep going. Yep, there it is, the third one down, Vermont. Go up, 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 one more, there it is. Anybody else need help finding their state? It's in alphabetical order, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or just like your dictionaries are in alphabetical order. Yeah, Gavin, question? I can't find mine. All right, go ahead and share your screen. Let's see if we can find Connecticut. It should be in the left side, upper left side. Okay, there, go all the way to the left. There it is. You got it. Did you find it? Yep. Million five hundred seventy-two thousand six hundred 
What other one am I doing again besides New York? Haley, you're doing Maryland as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Miss Aubin? Yes. How do you spell my, um, the state that I have that starts with M? Are you talking about Massachusetts? Yes. M-A-S-S-A-C-H-U-S. E T T E S, and it should be on the site as well. Miss Aubin, I can't find Maryland. You can't find. Share your screen. Okay. I found it. Okay. So Mrs. Harrison's only giving us about two minutes. So that's okay. Just make sure you get down your state. Like I already did Maine pretty quick. Hopefully if you had two states, it won't take you too long. Even if you don't get all of them written, because I saw Maine had cattle, poultry, fishing, apples, maple syrup, wood. There's a lot. So you don't have to get all of them. Just pick out the ones you find pretty interesting. I mean, if you have time, you can, but don't panic. I know Maine has blueberries too. I know when I was there, we picked lots of blueberries. So not everything must be on there. And if it's something you're not, you're not sure what it means, you can skip it for now or you can take time to look it up. Poultry is your chicken, if you saw poultry. Or you can ask me too, obviously. So Ben, what did you get for Vermont? Vermont's very much like Maine. Are 
you here, Finn? Did you leave me? So it's funny because Maine has maple syrup and so does Vermont. So you guys definitely know that is one of your resources. Yum. And they both have cattle and electronics and lumber. Probably because they have a lot of woods up in there. Pretty neat. This is fun. I love learning about all the states. I bet you do too, Charlie, because you're traveling. It's kind of cool. You can find your next destination. What a good website. All right. I think Mrs. Harrison's pulling us all back. I can hear her as I can hear you guys. Do you guys still need more time, Isabella? Are you still needing more time? No, you're okay? All right. Well, good. How about you, Leo? I, I don't see you. There you I'm go. done. You're done? Did you get to explore any other ones? No? It's yeah. kind of fun. You could like look at Hawaii and Alaska just because it's pretty cool. How many of you like geography? You like to travel, any of you? Yeah, me too. Me too. Where are you now, Charlie? Do you want them to come back in? Does she? I'm still in Florida. Want me back in there? No, I don't. I'm in, okay. in Florida in yeah, a friend. Come in. Okay, so you're in Florida? I'm sorry, yeah. someone was talking to me. What part? Do you know? Like what city? By Naples. Oh, hi. Pretty nice, huh? The weather's good? Yeah, it's really windy. Oh, is it? All right. So Charlie and Astria, you guys are gonna go into Mrs. Harrison Zoom for OG, because we are gonna end our regions time so that you can still do OG and I'm going to do all block with my kiddos. So we and we'll see you soon. So you guys will need a dry erase board, a dry erase marker, and a sock, and a pencil. No, you don't need a pencil. Just a dry erase board, a marker, and a sock. No pencil. I just realized. I don't have a sock. Uh, get a There's one in there. You could get a tissue. Guys, you can put these in the basket. All right. You'll need a pencil as well. Yeah. All right, kiddos, let's get started. We don't have a whole lot of time, but today is our... I don't have a dry erase marker. 